Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on hmm, page six and seven. I had to think about that for a seven. Page six and seven. So this is part of a continuous 12 by 12, which I split in half, and we're going to do the same thing we did over on page two, where we're going to create a pocket uh, that follows the line of this particular image. So you're going to need a nine by five and a half, nine by five and a half for this portion. And then of course we're gonna do some fussy cutting. So nine by five and a half, that looks good. And again, this is from the 12 by 12 pack. Okay, okay now I'm going to use a uh, embossing tool and outline it and then fussy cut it real quick. And then we're going to lay it down as a pocket. I forgot to tell you, um, nine by five and a half, you're going to score um, half inch on three sides to make a pocket. That part's a little bit thick, so a little bit of trouble there. there. Okay, so now we have this pocket. And on page seven, it's going to go on the left hand side like so. <clears throat> There we go. Now I'm going to use this green as the pocket liner. And then whatever I have left over, I'm going to put on page six. So I'm kind of doing this backwards because it's going to be based on how much paper I have. So I'm going to trim it and not glue anything down and see if I'm going to have enough paper to do both sides. So it looks like that's about here, do that a little darker. So if I come over here, oh, it's going to be short. <clears throat> I'm not going to have enough of this green. So, oh, oh that's too, too bad. I really like that green. <clears throat> so I have to think of something else. So I need a minute. I'm going to find something that's going to be able to span both of these pages. I thought this would, but it's a little shy. Back shortly. Okay, I found an alternate green, which I think is very pretty. So it's going to go right here, and I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges. I trimmed the first piece. This side, I'm not going to trim until I get this in. I need an ink pad. Here it is. Buried. <laughs>
having a hard time. I think my husband turned the heater on. My glue does not like that. So it's going to come up just a little more. There we go. I'm going to come back and check my corners in a second, make sure they're down good, but I think they are. I think I got it in just in time. Okay, there we go. Okay, now here's the... This is supposed to be... It's really strange because this looks very light compared to this, but um, it's similar to this where you've got this sort of more antique look and then the lighter look. So I think I'm okay with that. It's not exactly perfect, but I like it just fine. And so I'm trying to decide, do I want to make this a flap or am I going to put a photo mat here? And we're definitely going to do an insert here. And do I want this? Yeah, I definitely want to use that. So let's go ahead and... Hmm. So I just wanted to lean back and take a look at this. So definitely going to have an insert in here so there'll be plenty of room for photos. But over here, if I make this all just a large photo mat area, I'm trying to imagine where I would put my pictures because this image is so large and strong. So... Um, one of the places you could put a photo is, is like that uh, or like this, but you are covering up a good portion of your flowers. So I'm just trying to think that through a little bit. Hmm. I don't know. Or, of course, a smaller photo, which might be the answer. So that might be the answer. So that's what I'm going to plan on doing. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down and then we're going to cut this down to fit. Okay, this is page six. Page six. And I'll tell you how wide that is. But I really basically just cut this image and it is turning out to be five and seven eighths. Five and seven eighths. And then this is just going to be trim to fit, right? Whatever I need to fill this gap. Sam, come here. Don't forget your candy, it's right there by my purse. Okay. Have fun. I like that and I'm not sure if I recorded through all that yeah sorry about that that was my son going off to the movies um, trying to figure out what I want to do here 
I don't think I like that for this section. I do like this size. Um, I think it works really well here. Put a nice, beautiful picture here. So I need to find something to cover that. And then we need to make a couple of inserts here. I think I'm gonna use this card, which I've already put on black card stock. So it's gonna go in here, but I'm gonna put a couple of other things in there. So let me get that lined up. And when I come back, we will finish both six and seven. And yeah, I think it's turning out nicely. I, I need to find another red because um, the sparkle and the sparkle, mm, not crazy about it. So maybe this, maybe I'll do something with this. Okay, I'll be back shortly. Hey everyone, it's Daphne and I'm back and I think I've got everything pretty much figured out. I've got some bits that I need to clear up a little bit. So uh, when we were last together, we were fussing cutting this edge and I already had this backed by cardstock. I found another cut apart that I liked backed with cardstock and then this is a seven by seven photo mat. It goes right in here like this and then we've got these two uh, elements, actually I wanna do it like that, that go in tucked inside and then on this side, we uh, repeated this pattern. This is the second half of this 12 by 12 and then I'm reintroducing this pattern from the photo mat over here and so I think I'm going to put it in this way and I'm just going to glue it down directly and this is where you would put your sort of fe your featured photo so it's going to be slightly offset so that these flowers are framing the one edge okay and then that is going to conclude page six and seven which are whenever we're doing just a base color block with a photo mat it goes really quickly because we're not covering two sides of every single piece of cardstock we cut okay now i'm looking for just a consistent border um about the same around the, these two edges okay so that is page six page seven with the three inserts. I think that looks lovely. Okay, I'll be back soon with page eight. 